Now it's time to talk about Django Forms. So we left it off where we had a basic HTML form that allowed us to submit our URL, but it didn't really validate things for us. So when I say validate, I mean, of course, if I hit shorten, it, there should be some sort of error that actually comes in here. So what I'm gonna do now is jump into our code and we're gonna make a new file inside of our app called forms.py. Now forms is not a required file for every app, but when you need a form, this is where you put them. You put them in forms.py. That's not, even where you're putting it is not required. Like you could call it abc.py, but forms is the convention and that's best practice. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. So we're gonna do from Django import forms. And we're just gonna create a class and we're gonna call this submit URL form. And it's gonna be forms.form. And we're gonna take it one actual field and that's gonna be forms.char field. You know, this is a, not a whole lot different than what we saw with our models. And that's it. That's all we'll have for now. And I'll just actually, I'll add in a label and we'll say submit form or submit URL, excuse me. Okay, so we now have this. Let's go ahead and import this into our views. So a relative import, because it's inside of the app. So from dot forms import, submit URL form. And now in this home view, we are gonna go ahead and add this form in. I'll say form equals to submit form. We'll do submit URL form just like this. Um, but I also need to put it in the get call. So I need to put it in the post and get. And we can just come in here and just say request.post. So this is passing in the post data. And we can just say if form dot is valid, print form dot cleaned data. We'll see what this does in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the other request post stuff. We don't need that anymore. Um, but now that I've got this form information, I now need to add form into the context. So I'm gonna make a context very, uh, a context dictionary and we call the form and I'll just say the form is equal to that. So just, so you don't get too confused here. And this context dictionary, I can add in right here into my render call. I can also add in something like title and saying the title or just submit URL, something like that. And now instead of home.html, I can actually use that context. So the context being, I use two curly brackets, just like a dictionary, and then I just write title. So whatever you put in as the key, the value is what's gonna be rendered. So I put in title here, and then I can actually change this. I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out and just put form.as underscore p, save that and we'll refresh in here. And let's run the server, make sure the server's running. Oh, we got an invalid syntax on our views at line 21. So let's go into our views, line 21. And it's fairly obvious, it's gotta be a dictionary, so we need to make sure we put a comma in there. And let's refresh in here. And now we've got our new URL, right? So we've got our title coming through, which if we just change that, we'll just call this instead of submit URL, we'll just call it cur.co, and we refresh that. There we go, so now we actually have our form in here, and it's showing up. If I say ABC and hit shorten, well, something happens, um, which if we printed out that clean data, notice it is coming through, um, but it's not doing everything that we need, so let's go back and hit shorten. Notice it says, please fill out this field. That's good, we definitely wanted to see that. But if we go back into our post data, this right here where it's actually being posted, I'm actually able to have the data show up here. This is nice, that's what we want. So here I'm gonna actually add in context and we're gonna put that form back in. So form is equal to that form, right? And then we'll put this context in here, save that. We'll refresh in here and hit shorten, ABC. Notice it comes back, but it's actually um, not doing anything, right? Didn't go away, it just showed that form. So we can also put the title in there as well. So we can actually use that same sort of context almost and just put form as the actual one that's coming through. 
We refresh, hit continue. Notice that the submit button is still working. Okay, so that's actually wrapping in our form. There's still more things that we need to do, and that is we need to do form validation. That's something we'll do in the next one. We're gonna make sure that this is a real URL and it doesn't actually exist in the database yet. All right, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.